Another person who, like Amy Adams, Simon Bridges and the Nats, is disappointed with today's budget is Kelly Oliveira. Uh, she teaches new entrants at Gladstone Primary School in Auckland suburb of Mount Eden, sorry, Mount Albert. Kelly was hoping to see something in the budget for her and her peers who have warned for some time the education sector is starved. Lots of people saying that it was only a moderate increase in education funding and Kelly says her hopes were dashed this afternoon. Look, I'm really disappointed with this budget. Um, and the reasons being is not just because um, I think teachers deserve a pay rise. Um, our education system is in crisis and one of those crisis points is retention and teaching. Without a realistic salary, young teachers aren't going to want to come into the profession. I've been teaching almost 20 years and I love my job. I'm, I'm passionate about my job. I don't do it for the money. I'm not, that's not what teaching's about. Um, so I was, <laughs> yeah, I was hoping the Labour government were going to um, look after us, so to speak. Um, maybe they've got something tucked away somewhere. Disappointed, definitely disappointed. Um, I really believe that the government need to invest hugely in the education sector, um, not just in little bits here and there, um, extra funding for ECE, more always funded children, which I think it equates to about 250 extra children. Um, it's just not enough. We need robust, um, systems put in place to cater for children's needs across the board. Um, we need, like I said, to retain good teachers. Um, we need to attract teachers into the workforce that are passionate about children and are passionate about education. Um, we, we can't do that currently in the current situation. I mean, day to day in our schools, we're lucky to have enough relievers to cover teachers that are sick. Um, teachers are coming to work that are sick and that shouldn't be here because we can't get the relievers that we need. And therefore what happens? The children suffer. So there is a huge crisis and I don't think the budget has delivered for education, in my opinion. That's one teacher's take. We'd like more from teachers who are listening. Text us 2101 or email checkpoint at radionz.co.nz.